Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Original Works. I'm Lincoln, and today I'm in the Nomad app, and I'm going to show you how to go into Procreate and make fresh new alphas for your sculpting. All right, let's get to it. Here I'm in the Nomad app. We're at the default sphere, and I'm going to show you what the regular, the three default brushes look like on low resolution, just like you would be if you open this up for the first time. So here are all the brushes you can see. You know, they're, they're pretty basic. It's the three, the three normal brushes you always have. So now I'm going to go in and change the resolution to go up to like 6.29 million vertices, which is quite a bit for sculpting, but it's just to show you the difference of what these look like between low resolution and high resolution. I've zoomed in, you can see the, the, the lines in that, that brush. So now I'm going to show you one that I've made already before, the soft brush, and you can already see how much smoother this brush is than the stock brush that comes with Nomad. You can see there, you can see the ridges in the original one and then the smoother brush. So it's just kind of nice. You don't have to go in and do another operation by using the smooth tool. You can already, you're sculpting with a fairly smooth brush if that's what you want. So now we're going to go into Procreate we're going to hit the plus tab plus again to make a new canvas you're going to make 500 pixels by 500 pixels that's a good size 300 dpi is plenty for this hit create now we're in procreate on the new canvas you're going to use two fingers to pinch it down to get a little bit smaller size we're going to hit the layers tab and hit the background here you can just double tap on the bottom of the circle and get black Alpha is white is closest to you, gray is in between, and black is the surface of the model. Black and white is going to produce the cleanest alphas, and you can use the brush fall off and smooth tool to taper sides instead of using grays. It's just, it's an easier way to do it. Grays, if you use a lot of grays, it ends up giving you a lot of contour lines, and you really don't want that. Now we're going to double tap on the white corner of the circle, and that gives you a white color, a pure white. And we're going to go to calligraphy, monoline. And now we're just going to do a rough circle. You don't have to be perfect with this. So if you hold in place, you'll see the ellipse at the top. Hit circle, and now you have a perfect circle. Double tap on the select tool in the top left, the arrow tool. Now you can place it and scale it down a little bit and center it, just roughly center. This way you can blur this and it doesn't hit the edges. Now we're going to tap and drag and grab the white and pull it in and do a fill. Now you see you have a little bit of black artifacts on the corners there. You can also just hold in place and drag across the bottom when you go to put the dropper in instead of picking your pencil up and that'll increase the threshold so it covers all those. For this it doesn't really matter much. Once we blurred it that would all go away anyway but this is just show you, you can clean it up if you want to this way manually. Now we're going to grab the adjustments and Gaussian blur and this way you can just tap and drag at the bottom and you can see the blue line at the top going across and you can adjust how much this blurs out. This way you get a nice even fade with a blur and you get a nice soft brush when you finish with your alpha. So here we're all done. We've got a blur like we want and you can see I hit cancel on accident. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just hit apply. So just go up and do it again. You're going to grab the Adjustments tab again, Gaussian Blur, same thing, and just tap and drag and blur until you get the blur you want. And you can see here, you can get pretty extreme with it. That would be so soft, it wouldn't hardly make any difference on your model in Nomad. So now you just made your first alpha. That's it. That's done. Go up to the Tool Actions on the left. Go up and pick Canvas go in you can change the name for this you don't have to do this it just makes it much easier to find your alpha when you get it back into nomad change the name click done you can sign it if you want you can see what it gives you a created date and time now we're going to go up and share it as a jpeg we'll go into the menu save to files on your ipad nomad and then alphas hit save 
and it's done. Your export successful. You just created your first alpha for Nomad. Now we're going to back out to the home screen and open up Nomad. Now you see when we open up Nomad, there's an issue. You can hit clay, go to your alphas, and you're going to notice that it's not it's not there yet. And that's because you have to close out Nomad and reopen it. So we're going to do that right now. There you go. Now we go into the clay tool. Go down and up. There it is. And that's where your new alphas. Your new alphas will always be on that lower left corner. Here you can see that it is a very soft, clean, even blur brush. Now if you want to change this even more, we can go down to the fall off. Just use the presets. And you can see different presets do different things to the brush. It's just like picking a different size brush. Instead of a different type of brush, this is like a different size or shape. And that's what these do. I'll do another video on showing you how to set custom alphas. Those have a lot of unique features you can use for stamp brush and using a tiling brush. I'll show you how to make clone and make custom brushes as well. So here I'll show you a bolt that I've made. In the very top of this, I made with an alpha brush on the stamp tool and just tap and drag and pull that bolt head up. I didn't do any shaping of that. That was done. All I did was hit it with a smooth tool. So I'm going to show you a video with that soon. All right. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you again later.